Hi guys, it's me Nana. We're going to be making a jewelry box. In fact, it's a jewelry display case and it's something that I've been wanting to make for a very, very long time. What you'll need is two of these hinged photo frames, some diamond wrap and a little tchotchke, the pearl tchotchke there, a glue gun with some glue sticks, scissors, adhesive, and of course my favorite measuring tape and I have some stickers they're decorative stickers that I got from create and craft online these are the square mirrors that we get at Dollar Tree some old tools that are come very handy in this uh, this project a placemat adhesive spray and some bling rhinestone borders I got at Michaels now this is something that was inspired by Abilie25. He is a creator here on YouTube and he made a similar uh, box. And uh, my uh, take on it is just a little different, but it's mainly because I couldn't get the uh, items I needed to make it his way, so I made it mine. Now the placemat is very important because that's our liner. But we're going to start off by uh, taking the, um, the uh, photo frames apart. They're hinged the wrong way and we only need one of them hinged. We're going to reverse hinge them uh, in the end, you'll see. So first we're going to take everything out and then just put the glass back into the photo frame. Uh, before you do that, of course, you'll have to remove the little black uh, hinges that are already in there. And then we'll have to take the foam uh, place uh, that, that's a cushion on the glass. We have to take that off. Uh, you don't have to make it perfect because we're just going to line it in the paper, uh, excuse me, in the placemat. That's a beautiful damask and it will look wonderful in the final product. And I just uh, traced around the glass mirror and then we're going to cut it out and you want to cut it smaller than the mirror itself. In fact, I cut it out and then I trimmed it even more because you don't want anything hanging over on the mirror. So you just cut it out and then we're going to uh, put some spray adhesive on the uh, opposite side, see the opposite side of the mirror you're going to spray it uh, on. Now it doesn't hold very well, at least it didn't for me. Depends on what you use. If it doesn't hold very well then you'll want to try the hot glue. But uh, it held on one but it didn't the other so it just depends on what works for you. Now this is the bottom of the inside of the box and what I did is I took the backing and I traced around it and we're going to put that into the photo frame. But first we're gonna hot glue it onto the, it's the um, cardboard backing. So you take that and then you uh, use some hot glue and you stick that onto the cardboard. But first make sure it's really clean because that's what's going to be seen. So I hot glued it onto the cardboard and make sure you uh, press it down as flat as you can. Uh, try to keep it from having any bubbles. And then you just return it into the photo frame uh, right side up. And again, that's going to be the bottom of our uh, uh, case. So I just put a little bit of hot glue on the corners, press down really good and it holds very well. Now, as you can see, this is the way that we're going to uh, set up the case. It's going to be uh, all the out, outer parts of the photo frame showing. So from the bottom and all the way around, it's going to be showing right side up. You'll put, the first part will be to uh, take the hinge and reverse it so that the hinge is pointing to the back where you're not going to be able to see it. And so you'll just go ahead and screw that back in. And then you're going to put the uh, other part of it on top with the right side up. So you see we're really reverse hinging it so that 
what will happen is the next one is the top of the display case and you'll see when we put it in okay so we're getting ready to put the top of the display case on onto the hinge and what we did is we kind of devised a way by layering that on top of one of the other photo frames put a couple of uh, cardboard pieces on there to just get it right I held it down and then you see my husband he has a special tool that starts the hole for you and then all you have to do is put the uh, screws right back in and the the wood is very soft so it was very easy to put it in as you see there and then um, once you tie it down really good or excuse me screw it down really good then you'll just place it uh, on top of the case. It will become the hinged part where you can get in and out. See, I'm showing you that is the, the special little tool my husband had. It's a wonderful thing. I didn't even know that we had it. So I was so worried that we wouldn't be able to get it done right, but it came out so beautiful. Okay. So you see, we're going to glue uh, everything now. From this point on, hot glue is the way to go. Make sure that your glass is really clean because you may not be able to get to it once it's all put together. And you know, you don't want smudges on it. The, uh, <laughs> the process was a little nerve uh, wracking at first, but just remember you're going for the 45 degree angle. And once the front photo frame is on top of the bottom of the case, then the back photo frame will be glued to the uh, lower part. You see it in the background there. So first we're going to hot glue the front panel. Okay, so I kind of smoothed it out and then I put it on the top of the base of the case. And then this will be on the bottom. So that way, what happens is when we hinge it, the top hinge will go inside of the case. You'll see as we go along. So I'm gluing the front of the photo frame and attaching it to the bottom. See, and then we're going to make a 45 degree angle. You're not going to be perfect until we put the glass panel on. Here's our glass panel and we're going to glue it on to the side. I turned it over on its side, used my T ruler to kind of keep it at that 45 degree angle, Gl hot glued the uh, panel back on because it came off and then lay it down and just hold it really well. So again, the uh, hot glue had to be put on there really well. Hold her down and try to keep all the 45 degree angles straight. See that? Just kind of make the adjustments right here. And luckily the uh, hot glue is very forgiving in this. You don't want to glue the top hinged uh, panel because of obviously that's going to be opening and closing. And there we go. We're just putting it together. That's your last one and it really comes together so beautifully. I was a little worried at first that the uh, glass or the mirror wouldn't look right because uh, the one, the original one had a photo frame, but I couldn't find one that uh, fit correctly. And I didn't want a large case. I wanted a small one just for my specialty pieces. And this actually came out really good. Now it looks a little ragged, but once we bling that baby up, it's going to look gorgeous. So I have these stickers that I got online. It's a British company called Create and Craft, and they, they have beautiful crafting supplies. And of course, our Dollar Tree bling uh, looked perfectly on it. I just used it to, uh, number one, hide the hinges and hide the areas where we uh, put the frames together. I use the adhesive from Dollar Tree as well because the hot glue would be too thick. So that adhesive is much better because I just had to use a little and it goes a long way. And I used a little um, 
skewer to put the glue on so I wouldn't use too much and I could level it out. So I used a double strand of the uh, bling ribbon and I used the gold because it matched the, um, the photo frame. And again on the top, I think I used a single layer. So on the, um, the three sides, I used a double and then at the top I used a single. It just looks so good. I couldn't believe how well it was coming out. So once we finish with the uh, bling wrap, we'll put on the tchotchke. I call it a tchotchke, but it's a, it's really just a pearl jewel piece. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. In fact, it was like 50% off in their wedding uh, area. I guess it's something you put on like your shoe or something. I just thought it was a really nice uh, rhinestone uh, element. And I've had it forever, but it worked perfectly here as a, as a, um, like a button to uh, open and close the top. So this is where you all attach the lace sticker. And I'm going to put it on the inside of the glass panel. And it's just going to be a decorative piece because I, to me, it just seemed a little, um, lonely, a little plain in all that opulence. So this way it kind of tied in with the entire piece. I couldn't decide which one would work the best and finally just decided on one that would take up the most space but have a, a nice ornate look to it. And again, uh, this is something I've had for months and I couldn't find a use for it and it was just perfect here. So I put it on the inside of the glass and then I reinserted it into the photo frame and put a little bit of glue, not a lot, didn't need a lot, but see how beautiful that is? Just looking into it, it, it really brings so much to the piece. I am so pleased with it. And here we have our little button. It's like a mauve pearl. And we're just gonna use it as a opening mechanism. And I only hot glued half of it onto the photo frame so that uh, the hanging piece, the overhang, is what you would grab to open and close uh, the piece. And then on the corners, the four corners of the front where the bling came together, I put the little jewels to hide where they left a gap. And then what it does, it just finishes off the piece very, very well. And I thought that worked out really good. Again, it's just in the little details. Uh, you don't notice unless you don't have it, but once you put it on, you realize, oh, you couldn't do without it. So we're just finishing off with the last of the bling. We're almost done. And I decided the mirrors were just a little too plain. And I thought, again, we'll just use the uh, gold ribbon. And I put one on each side that kind of act as a faux handle. You know how uh, cases have nice little handles on them? I found one that looked kind of like a handle and it will uh, serve its purpose uh, to fill in the gap, so to speak, fill in the blank space. And again, I thought it came out really, really well. So that's it. It was very, uh, very, <laughs> in retrospect, it was easy but I really was nervous that uh, I would mess it up, muck it up completely. But I am so pleased with the final outcome. And I'll let you enjoy the pictures. And I did put my, I have uh, 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 costume jewelry from Heidi Dawes that I rarely wear, but I love to look at. And this is a beautiful case in which to see it. There you go. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, the things I can do with this. I may make another one just to put my other things into. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you take it on. And if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate. Uh, it wasn't an easy thing to put together, but like I said, in retrospect, I see how easy it really was. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and have a great evening. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Again, have a great evening and I'll see you next time.
Until then, don't forget to bring that color and hey, a little bit of bling never hurt either. Bye for now.